What's up guys, Nintel Nick here, and welcome back to another episode of Mario Kart Mondays. Today we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of the Mario Kart Hack Pack, and in the last episode we did the Paper Lakitu Cup with Lakitu, and um, now we're going to be heading off to the, um, the Paper Bowser Cup, because um, before this I actually did the Waluigi Hat Cup. And that was supposed to be our next destination because we did the lack the paper lack of two cup we did in the last episode. And then here we were supposed to do the Wario Hat Cup and you're probably wondering why are we doing the Paper Bowser Cup? The reason is is because the uh, Waluigi Hat Cup is just non modded courses. So Desert Night Sky is the dry dry Ruins or Desert, I forget what it's called, of the Special Cup. Cannon City is Moonview Highway from the Special Cup. Bowser's Lava Road is Bowser's Castle from uh, the Special Cup. And then Rainbow Ro Run is Rainbow Road in the Special Cup. So, yeah, there's really no point of playing this cup because it really just is the Special Cup from Mario Kart Wii. And this is the custom tracks in the Hack Pack, so there's no point of going with just the regular courses and it's kind of a shame that they just wasted a spot there for um, games that, or tracks that you can play on Mario Kart Wii itself so instead we're gonna be going with the Paper Bowser Cup and in here we got GP Diamond City uh, we got Daisy Hillside Conqueror's Raceway and GBA Bowser's Castles 2 so let's go ahead and start but yeah it was really annoying because like you have Waluigi Hat Cup and then you have all these like uh, cool tracks that are okay this actually looks really cool um, you have all these tracks that are named completely new you think and they you you think they were custom tracks but instead they're just renamed tracks of the special cup and so it's just annoying cuz I was like halfway through it and I'm like okay why is there two stages that are from Mario Kart Wii um, in general and the reason being is because I don't know why would a hack pack have old courses and rename them to make them look like they're new um, anyway uh, this looks really cool we got Wario Kart here um, so as you saw by the title it's a GP uh, is this Wario Circuit I didn't even get to see I forget what it was but um, as you can see, Wario is taking over. Oh yeah, it's Diamond City. That's actually okay. This is really cool because Diamond City is in uh, WarioWare Inc. That's actually a really cool reference. So, and by GP, it means I'm pretty sure Mario Kart GP, which is in the uh, arcades. So um, this is a really cool uh, track that I haven't seen because um, I really haven't played the uh, arcade version of Mario Kart to be honest. And okay, that whoa, that that's a bit different. I think that's the first time we've seen uh, the uh, blooper do that. Cause I don't remember getting the blooper. I guess really, I don't. That's weird because like I don't remember getting the blooper at all. I guess from the past what this is the. Uh, sixth or seventh episode and I haven't I guess I haven't gotten the blooper in those six or seven episodes but here with uh, Bowser we finally in the paper Bowser cup we finally get it and we I realized that it's uh, when you get sprayed by blooper it's these uh, these ink block these ink blotches that are uh, Bowser uh, symbols which I don't know if that's just for Bowser maybe or if that's for uh, everyone but then again I like I said I don't really remember having uh, the uh, blooper ever hit me in the uh, last episodes of hack pack so that's kind of weird um, anyway so that was Diamond City pretty cool now we're at uh, Daisy Hillside, which is from um, Mario Kart 7. I think it's in the Mushroom Cup. I think it's like the second course. So, yeah, it's a pretty cool uh, 
course I have to say. I mean, it's not really anything like major or anything, but like, it's still a fun little course to go through. Okay, and didn't mean to do a wheelie there, but did one anyway. Um, anyway, I wanted to do another mod, uh, mod character, but instead I went with Bowser. Well, I was gonna go with Waluigi with the Waluigi hat cup, but um, because you had to go with Waluigi. I mean, there's nothing wrong with going with Waluigi, especially for with his own hat cup. And um, but yeah, I was gonna go with him. But then change the plans with the Paper Bowser Cup where you're gonna play instead, which we're playing right now. And um I mean I guess who be who else better to go with than Bowser himself? Um I don't think there's like a Paper Bowser or Paper Mario mod for Mario Kart Wii. If there is, let me know. But I don't think there is. But um I didn't get to see what the next track is either, like there's a, there's another track, or not, the next cup I mean, there's another cup and I don't know what it is, but um, whatever the cup's name is, or whatever uh, the tracks are in there, um, I'm gonna base it off of that, and um, play as a character that resembles it. Okay, wow, I'm getting pretty beat up here. <laughs> okay, okay, wow, again. I went from first to ninth. In not that short of a time frame. And okay, wow, that took Which one took away my mushrooms? Was it the invincibility or the I didn't I did not know that. I did not know invincibility or uh I don't know which one it was, the bullet bill or the invincibility that took away my three mushrooms, but it was one of them. And wow, okay, we came in seventh because of that. I just had really bad luck. I mean, I did start off really bad, 12th at the b back of the pack, and I didn't even get a question mark block there. So, yeah, I kind of do understand why I came in seventh, but I was in first at one point. And, okay, wow, we got Conqueror's... This looks really good. Conqueror's Raceway. This looks like the... it base, It's, like, based off of the hub world in uh, Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, and I love that game. Even though it's highly... In Wait, are we gonna see the Great Mighty Pooh? I, I swear, if we do, that's... that. This is the best course. If we get to see the Great Mighty Pooh. Oh my god, we're going up Pooh Mountain. We're going up Pooh Mountain. I think we are. Right. Actually, no. Wait, maybe it's later on. Because I see, like, a little swirl right there. And if I, I swear, if King, if the Great Mighty Pooh is at the top of that mountain, I'm going to be so excited. <laughs> he starts singing, too. Um, and, wow, okay, I'm messing up really bad here. Okay, wow. Really sharp turn. That I would have probably missed if I didn't break there. And here we are. Wow, they even have the, the like, the animation of like the, the poo sliding down. And the poo balls. Oh my god. And the crabs are made out of poo. This is the best stage ever. This is the best Mario Kart Wii custom track. I'm saying it. I'm saying it right now. I, I want to see the Great Mighty Poo, but, you know, this is still just as good, I have to say. I mean, look at that animation of the poo dripping down. That came out straight from Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. Oh my god. <laughs> and you go through... Wow! This is so well done. And now we're going to the beehive. Wow, okay. This is actually a really cool reference to Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. Not only that, but it's also just a really cool track in general. Oh my, and they have those guys as the Womps. I forget what their names are, but I remember <laughs> they were like cursing at me in the game. Or they curse at you at one point in the game. Wow, I love this course. This is like my new favorite course, I have to say. Because like Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, even though it's like a really highly inappropriate game, 
it's still <laughs> very awesome and funny and um, the events that happen in that game are just amazing and uh, yeah like no other game can do that basically like even nowadays like nowadays and like back then like they can't do that they can't make a game like that anymore like they made a uh, remake of it which is like Conqueror's Bad for a day uh, I think it's like locked and loaded or something like that and um but like that game it had um it had to take away some things from the original N64 version because of uh had to take away some of the uh N64 parts because they were too inappropriate to have on the uh remake which is just crazy that they had to do that but um yeah, I absolutely loved the game, like, even though it was, like, frustrating at some parts, and there were, like, some dark sections that I couldn't see where I was going, it was still just a blast to even just watch. Like, if you even just, like, watched, like, Let's Plays, okay, why, why was it that time when I got hit by the blooper, it didn't have the Bowser symbol? I guess it was only for Diamond City then. But, um, anyway, as I was saying, though, with the uh, with Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, even if you just watch like Let's Plays of it, it's kind of the same. But like the experience of playing it is, I feel like a little bit better though, to be honest, because like you get to experience like it fully. And although it is annoying, like some parts where you have to like backtrack and get some money, it still is a great game. And um, definitely one of my favorite N64 games, that's for sure. Cause it's just it like no game no other game is like it no other game like pushed its limits to be like so it looks so kitty and so friendly and yet it's like one of the most inappropriate games of all time <laughs> but at the same time I absolutely love it and yet at least even though we didn't get to see the great mighty Pooh, still was a great <laughs> it's still a great track Okay, I came in second. Oh wait, never mind. I think I did come in first, but I'm in second overall. All right, so I think this next course can't top it. Yeah. All right, so we got GBA Bowser's Castle 2, which I think got remade in uh, Mario Kart DS. So um, isn't really a new course, but I guess new visuals and stuff, because it's better than the DS version. So yeah. Yeah, I really do like Bowser's Castles, uh, the GBA versions, because, like, it's so easy to, like, it's, like, an easy course, but, like, it's such an easy course to also overlap people and to, uh, just, like, uh, do different challenges and stuff. Because, like, this course, these courses, and the GBA Bowser's Castle courses, and the, uh, wait, maybe this is the, no, never mind, um, but yeah, these GBA Bowser's Castles and the SNES Mario Circuits, I feel like they're the uh, best to like overlap people in. And um, sometimes I would actually do like challenges in like 50cc where um, I would either let the uh, let the CPUs overlap me like one and a half times, like be almost two times ahead of me, and then st still try to beat them with the uh, power that I have and sometimes I actually do um, other times I don't but uh, it's still fun like challenge to play maybe I'll do it uh, in, like Mario Kart DS or something once I finish this hack pack which will probably be in a year to be honest because there is a lot of content unless uh, like the Waluigi hack cup appears again where it's just uh, previous courses from uh, Mario Kart Wii or just retro courses in general, but I feel like retro courses are a bit cool because they are in the Mario Kart Wii uh, graphics, and uh, so they probably will look a little bit better than um, the ones that got remade in the DS or the retro courses in the DS and um, in Mario Kart 7 maybe. 
But, um... Yeah, so yeah, I usually do those challenges or I just go all out and I try to overlap the, uh, the CPUs in general. Like, I just try my best to overlap them in uh, these courses and also the SNES Mario Circuit courses because it's just really easy to do so. Um, I usually do it in Mario Kart 7 because I'm usually uh, out of the house and, um, like, in school and stuff and I just want to play that instead and instead I just try and do challenges and stuff like that that uh cool like that just because like usually I'm bored and stuff and then I just uh come up with the challenges and the overlap challenge where you overlap the uh try to overlap the uh, CPUs or it also can be called overlap challenge where you have to uh where the CPUs overlap you and you have to try and still win. Um, anyway though, that is the Paper Bowser Cup. Um, I'll check the next cup to see if it is like the Waluigi Cup and I do have to like check, I think like there's a Discord that uh, I got invited to in the first episode of the Hack Pack and um, I do have to check that out though because, did the game crash? I think it did. Um, but I have to do check that out to see uh, what courses were in the uh, different cups so that I can see which ones to play and which ones not to play and also if they were like repeated from uh, CTGR which were the original custom tracks but um yeah anyway game broke or game crashed whatever um so thank you guys all for watching make sure to like comment subscribe and stay tuned for more Mario Kart Mondays we'll be continuing the let's play the Mario Kart hack pack Right here on Tonic. Bye.